An optical illusion is when your eyes and brain don't agree with what's happening on screen. And today, I want to try to trick my brother with optical illusions so insane that by the end of this build battle, he quits from how confused. much I confuse him. We've got a couple tricks up our sleeve today to make it happen. All right, guys, let's go ahead and hit the first round and see what we're building. Confusing, Isaac. Round one is a confusing optical illusion. Okay, here we go. Starting off with this little speed racer roller coaster. <laughs> oh, now that right there is confusing. What the heck? Well, uh, that's to your build and this is to mine. Let's get in there. I don't even know what's happening right now. I'm in. What the heck? All I'm gonna do for this is start with a simple white box, set our roof to white concrete. What's gonna be weird about it is I'm going to make it have infinite stairs. Now, this is a famous illusion, but I don't think I've ever seen in Minecraft. I'm just gonna have a door there and then... Oh my gosh, I'm so sick of these videos, guys. I guarantee he's over there building something that he has memorized before the video, and he's just gonna absolutely wreck me again. It's, I mean, what am I supposed to do, guys? I don't know how to think of things on the spot. It's a portal helper. I don't really know exactly if this even does anything, so we're gonna find out here. Let's see. Okay. And so now I definitely need to figure, what? Okay, guys, here's what we're doing. We're, we're deleting our portal so that way we can clean up the portals. I got a portal delete wand, doing a little experimentation here. Now that we're getting this all cleaned up, it's gonna be all okay. It's gonna be a-okay. We have a chance to save this. All right, no plan today, guys, but I think we pulled together something pretty cool here. So basically, we're gonna bring Loverfella over here. And as you can see, there's birch wood on both of the floors. So that's what it looks like in here. But as he walks through, guys, I am gonna change all of the slabs that are on this side to a different colored block with pink concrete. So as you can see, guys, he's gonna walk through, turn around, and then the whole blocks are gonna change. And then when he comes back to check this out, we're gonna do slash slash replace with lime green concrete. So as you can see, guys, this is going to be absolutely amazing. These have to be the exact same size to work, and then this should absolutely confuse the crap out of Isaac. So now, when I light this full flint and steel, this should absolutely decimate Isaac's knowledge of what's happening. And then all we have to do now is go back through, break the portals, because those just help us create it. And then it ends up looking like another room. And then we have actually created a fully functional version of the creepy looking thing. Oh no, time's up. I'm gonna finish this. It doesn't matter. All right, we'll go ahead then and start with Isaac's. I'm gonna teleport to Isaac. Let's see Isaac's confusing optical illusion. I am ready. All right, Zach, why don't you walk over to the other side of this? That's it? Yep. Turn around, Zach. Whoa! Wait, what? has what? even just happened? Wait, what? Hold on, I'm confused. What just happened? Was this not- Exactly. This wasn't pink, was it? No, Zach, why don't you come over and look at the pink up close? I'm so confused. Wait, what, it's green? What? Isaac, what is happening? What if I were to tell you, Zach, that these are actually just planks? Bro, did you world edit that when I walked through? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, Zach. I don't know. Round of applause because that actually confused me, which was the goal. I had no idea what was happening. All right, guys, it's now time to test mine out. Isaac, you can TP to me whenever you're ready. All right, I'm here. There's really nothing too crazy about it. All you gotta do is just walk around and explore and uh, check it out. So go ahead. What the heck you built all this? This is massive. Yeah, go check it out. All right, ain't no way. What? Well, I'm looking at myself, dude. These are like mirrors. What even is this? What are you doing down there, dude? Why are you on the roof? What, dude? I know that it's a mod and I still don't understand how this is working. What is even going on? Here, hold this. Maybe this will help you. Hurry. Okay. Oh, gosh. What just happened? <laughs> oh, I'm about to throw up in real life. Did it solve it? No. What is it even doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, time to vote on the first round. I absolutely loved Isaac's. It genuinely confused me. And for that reason, I'm actually going to start him off strong with a diamond. I'm giving you a gold because I have a headache. I, I can't even see right now. All right, unfair. Let's move on to round two. Coming up next is perspective. All right, I'm going to use slash slash illusion. And there is the first use of slash illusion. We got it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, guys, I designed this so that now when you stand here and you look at the easel, it looks like the easel's filled in. But in reality, the easel is like this, a giant open canvas for you to paint something beautiful. So I'm going to go in here and create a confusing illusion in an illusion already to make Isaac even more confused. This is about to get illusion section. All right, guys, we're going to get a little ambitious this round and we're going to try to build a giant replica of a Minecraft bed. Now, oh my gosh, I got to stop switching to these stupid items Loverfella gave me. I think we're just going to use a wood texture to try to replicate the legs here. All right, let's look at our canvas really quick and see if we're looking like Bob Ross. Definitely love the way the grass looks. It stands out way better when it's green. So what I'm gonna do instead is come in with the world edit wand and simply replace this lime concrete powder and repeat the process about 10 times. So guys, bear with me while I go through and do this entire process multiple times. 
All right, we're gonna wait to do the grand reveal. Now that we've got this built up, I wanna actually go through and build a gray mountain at the top. This mountain is actually going to be three-dimensional because it's gonna have a white peak on it, a little bit of snow. So that's gonna be a little bit too tiny, I think. I want it to be, well, yeah, I want it to be a little bit bigger. All right, we are running out of time, guys. We are down to 200 seconds, but I'm about to make some massive progress on the bed here. We've just added the entire top red blanket to it. And the only thing we need to do now is add the little white wool pillow and we are going to be absolutely set for this giant build. Let's go take a look at what our build looks like with just one minute remaining right now and see what this design is. It is, uh, the mountain's kind of mid, to be honest with you. I think the mountain's really bad looking. Uh, I don't know how to do it. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. I can make it so. I can't get that thing to look like it's an actual normal bed because we didn't detail out the roof and stuff enough. This could be a colossal fail round. I don't exactly know how we can fix this at this point. So guys, I actually added an immersive portal mod to the top of it. So when Isaac looks at this, not only does he see the painting, but he also somehow sees the back of himself standing on this. And I'm gonna give him a very deep speech about how this painting is called. You'll see, it's gonna be interesting. Let's start with mine this time. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Welcome to my painting I call Always Watch Your Back. This beautiful painting inspired by 17th century art allows you to see a future of yourself on top of a mountain. I don't know what you just said, but it is a pretty painting. I do like it. Look at this. When you stand on this dot and you look above it, your skin is above it. Do you see your skin? The back of your skin? Oh my gosh, this is so weird. I don't even know what this is right here. It allows, it's the only painting that allows you to actually enter the painting as if you were a part of the painting. Dude, I feel like this would have been cooler if like I was like down there on the mountain, but like I'm above the painting. I'm not really in the painting. You know what I mean? I know because you're looking down at it as if you are the artist looking over your work. Okay, I'm just confused. Get me out of here. <laughs> I'm done. All right, Zach, you can TP to me now. All right, Isaac, all right, I'm here. Push all the way to the back, all the way this way towards oh. me, like where I'm standing. And then give me a second. I want you to break the bed on okay. the count of three. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. One, two, three. Oh, it just didn't work because you teleported me to the corner of the grass. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, Zach. I didn't, I didn't know what to do here. I built a giant bed and then I was like, well, it's not really an optical illusion, is it? It would have been good if you teleported me to like a different location, but you put me right in the grass, right at the edge, literally at the corner, and I saw the ground and it just ruined it. Round voting begin. Isaacs will be getting a, I'll wait till you vote. Oh, you already did? Bronze, I hated it. It was the worst thing I've ever seen. Okay, well, it's fair, I guess. It didn't work, so sure. All right, round three, guys. Things are gonna get even more intense this round. It is home. It's gonna be a very good looking Minecraft starter base. Little double door, gonna have a nice little wooden pillar right there. And when you walk inside, it's gonna be absolutely massive. All right, guys, for this round, we have to build an optical illusion related to home. And you know what? I feel like using one of the new blocks in the newest update. So we are gonna use this thing right here, the decorated pot. And we're basically gonna drop him in a minecart so that he lands on the pot and then we're gonna teleport him into like a clay terracotta room that's gonna be perfectly set up like an inside of the pot home. So first of all, we gotta get the little minecart system set up. This is gonna be the easiest part of the build, but we do have to get it set up very quickly. This one's been confusing even for me to follow. If you're with me now, congratulations. Now we can break this. Now we can extend the house out. Now, technically, all I have to do is turn this into a Minecraft house that's very big or completely different. And so, by the power of world edit, I think I could do that relatively quickly. All right, guys, I am speed building the inside of this right now, and it is actually looking pretty good. We got a bedroom. Right now, I'm creating the kitchen. And soon enough, guys, we're gonna be completely done with this build, and we only have 100 seconds left. So, really, we're just putting on the finishing details right now. And I think it'd be really funny if I could still try the portal immersion, where I can somehow link it to his base. So I'm going to attempt that right now and I don't know if it's gonna work or not. It's gotta be tough. I'm gonna try it though. Let's see what happens. Doesn't work, gotta get rid of it. I'm gonna do something else that's gonna make him feel like he's actually at his base. He's working on some sort of a pot. We got 18,000 blocks copied. We have 30 seconds to take this all the way back to our base, paste it, and then he is literally going to walk inside of a base that gets bigger. He's also going to see his own base. We're gonna start with Isaacs this time, guys. Let's see what his build has in store for us. We have a, uh, where are we? Well, Zach, do you know what that little item is down there? That is a, is it, oh, it's a new Minecraft pot. It is a magic genie lamp, yes. Why don't you go down there, Zach, and go down to it and give it a little rub. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna rub the lamp then, here we go. Uh... Oh my gosh, Zach, you wish for rain and it has been granted. Why don't you go ahead and swim up the waterfall? <laughs> what is happening? I never know what to expect with Isaac. It's literally the funniest thing, dude. Okay, let's go back up. Uh, okay. Keep going, keep going up. Keep going up. 
Wait, what? Okay, we'll keep going. <laughs> keep going. You are oh! now inside of the genie lamp. Whoa, I'm inside the genie lamp. Oh, you jump in and then you get inside of it. Oh, that's very creative. It is the house of the genie, Zach. You are now inside of the decorative pot. Wow, inside the decorative pot by Isaac. Very, very interesting. I like it a lot. Uh, I'm very Thank excited you. to show you mine. Are you ready to see it? Okay, I'm ready. All, all right, man, all you gotta do is go check out my house. Uh, it was a house build, so I just wanted to build a little something nice for you to check out. What do you think? It seems normal so far. It kind of looks like a church in here. I don't know if this is a house. Yeah, it is actually a church, actually. <laughs> you are crazy. Wait a minute, I'm back at my place now. <laughs> Dude, that's what the genie can do, Zach. He's that powerful. Did you even see the size of the initial house? You didn't even point out how small the initial house was. Look at this thing. Oh, wow, that is... Yeah, I didn't even notice that, but now I do. It's Back to the voting, guys. Let's see what we can do here. Um, Isaac's was a little better than the last one, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and hit him with a silv. I'm going to give you a silv, too, because you Bro. built a church and not a house. These ratings are wrong. Round full. Command blocks. What does that mean? You must build an illusion utilizing command blocks. All right, so uh, we use slash slash illusion to paste this right here. And this is a incredible command block elevator. This is what we made. All right, it took us several days to pull this off. There's an immense amount of commands in this bad boy. I don't know any of it. And Isaac doesn't know that I don't know, just to be honest with you. So guys, this command block elevator is quite simple. You're gonna open and close the door. Take a look at that. And then as you walk inside, you'll call the elevator and it actually feels like you're in an elevator that's moving, even though you're not. But what's gonna be even better is I'm gonna use the portals again to confuse Isaac to make him think he's actually in a different location than where he started. Okay guys, he said this round had to be a command block round, but he didn't say we actually had to use command blocks because I don't know any commands. So what I'm doing is making a pattern out of the command blocks. I realized that if you place the command block like straight down, you get a circle. Otherwise, you get this weird little triangle. So we're going to make a little grid pattern with the command blocks. I don't think this is what we were supposed to do this round, but you know what? I know zero commands, and I would absolutely do nothing if I just had to put in commands. With just 140 seconds left, I've been doing a lot of experimenting, though, and I learned how to use the portal wand, which is quite interesting because when Isaac comes out of this, I can actually create a portal directly in front of this. It looks a little bit like this. We can go and select the entire region, and then all I have to do is make the portal for the second region. What I'm going to do is make that somewhere completely different as if he actually took an elevator up and it is going to take him i don't know just very high in the world all right guys we have 55 seconds to get this to work and now i basically want to get loverfell in a perpetual loop of falling so we're going to put him down a barrier little pathway right here so we can't actually see what's holding him in and every time he falls and hits his pressure plate i hope that it's going to teleport him back up he goes in he's going to call the elevator he's going to stand on the elevator for it to work and then when he turns around He's actually going to be high like it worked. All right, buddy, I'm ready. Isaac, welcome. Let me go ahead and close that door for you there. Again, not even Minecraft right there. What even was that? Well, that's my command blocks. Come on over and look at it. Dude, you did not know how to do that, you cheater. You're going to walk inside my elevator. There's a button okay. on the right. Just You're going to see it. Just push the button and go right the elevator. Go ride it. You did Get in not there and ride that elevator. Build this. You did not build this. I refuse to believe that you even knew what you're doing. Once you're done, you can stop the elevator and hop on down. Dude, there's a little, like, what is this little glitch? Right there? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and close that door real quick and open it back up, and he should be on the new floor. All right, come on out, buddy. Okay. <laughs> what is happening right now? You did not know how to do any of that. First of all, I understand that this is just like an illusion here. Like this isn't actually moving. Yeah. So you just copied and pasted this whole thing up here. Fly around it. There's nothing. There's literally nothing up here. What are you talking about, dude? This is not a fair build battle. Ever. Nobody thinks this is fair. What, what is are it? you talking about, bro? You, this is fair. All right, let's take a look at Isaac's. Oh, he built it out of command blocks, huh? Go. Uh-huh. <laughs> if nothing else, dude, I'm going to make you throw up today. Wow. You have got to be sick right now. Isaac must have been panicking when he made this. Bro, world edited <laughs> gave me nausea and made me fall forever. Dude, how do you feel right now? And look at the little patterns in the blocks right here. If you didn't realize, I alternated it to make it a little X. This is like when you give a toddler access to Minecraft dude, command blocks hold on. for the very first there. time. Keep, and you're no, like, keep doing that. You're like, good job. All right, all right, guys. Time to vote. Let's go ahead and see what the voting is here, folks. I'm going to go ahead and pull out for Isaacs. Just for making me sick. I got to give him one. I got to give him. You vote first. Go ahead. Three, nope, two, you one. vote first. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Dude, hey, listen. Listen, you've been cheating all round, Zach. I gotta vote fairly. You cheated. And with that, guys, somehow, 
We it's are tied. Tie. All right, guys, welcome to the tiebreaker. Rules are simple. We each have five minutes to create the most confusing optical illusion possible. Winner walks away as the champion, and you guys decide who's is better. All right, I'm making this nether portal thing right now. I literally just restarted the entire server so I could pull this off. Here's what we're gonna do. Step one, make another portal. Woo! There it is. All right, folks, that's what I'm talking about. Little did you know, the portals that I made are already connected because of a magic mod that I used, and so all I have to do now... Yep. All right, that's not good. I'm stuck here. All right, guys, we have now made a giant sand mound. I don't know where we're going with this or how this is going to confuse anybody, but this is what we built, and it actually looks pretty sweet, I feel like. So let's go ahead and think about how we can confuse Loverfellow with this build. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to delete everything else that's over here. We don't need any of this crap right now. We're keeping the nether portal. We're getting rid of the portal mod. We literally have almost no time left, so I'm just going to cover this entire thing with dirt. Isaac's going to walk into this, and it is literally going to take him straight into the nether as the most confusing using thing you could ever imagine. So all I have to do now is cover this entire thing in, make it look a little bit more natural, and I think that we should confuse him enough. And by the way, just because I cheated doesn't mean I didn't win, all right? You know what? I feel like we've lost today because I have completely run out of ideas. I don't exactly know what to do at this point. Like, I, I'm just kind of over it at this point. Like, what, what am I supposed to do to compete? We already know he's gonna cheat. This is just so exhausting to try to figure out every round. All right, guys, there's literally no plan this round. I don't even know what I built, so good luck to us. All right, Isaac, let's start with mine. All I did was something pretty simple, just made you a couple doors. Go ahead and get in there. Okay, we already know this is going to be cheating. Yep, you cheated. Again, what are you what talking is about? This? How on earth does that even work? What? Oh, you didn't even break the nether portal behind you. I can see where you came in no, here to do that. No, I, I didn't That's need this. That's sloppy work right there. That is sloppy <laughs> work. I didn't need it. I didn't sloppy need it. Sloppy work. Is this even an optical illusion? Like, you just made a gate to hell. Yeah, it's an optical illusion. It's a door that opens up into the nether. It's genius. Okay, sure. At least I'm not voting on this one. The people are going to know you cheated. Okay, Zach, why don't you just go ahead and get down here in the tadpole pool for me? Okay. I need you to focus really hard right now, okay? Uh-huh. What do you see in there? I can't get there because there's tadpoles. Okay, well, what do you see down there? What's the item you see? Don't break anything. Tad just tadpole down there. eggs. Tadpole eggs. Really? Are you turtle sure about egg. that? Turtle egg. Really? Yeah, turtle egg. Really? Yeah, turtle egg. Definitely. I don't know. I don't know. Keep looking at it, Zach. What do you uh -huh. What do you see it now? A uh, sniffer egg. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure about that? Um, a dragon egg. <laughs> yeah, it's an ever-changing egg, dude. It never stops changing. You never know oh, what it's gonna go to next. Oh my god, how are you doing that? <laughs> Are you invisible or something? How are you doing that? What do you think, Zach, of the, <laughs> it's the infinite egg in there. How are you down there? Are you invisible getting it? All right, the egg is off now. Uh, you must have just undone and redone a few commands. <laughs> you just did redo, undo. All right, guys, make sure you vote down below who won today's, whichever comments get the most upvotes is the winner of today's challenge. If you guys enjoyed it, click here to check out a time where I use slash slash scare to scare Isaac. Peace. Oh, I do not like it though. It actually makes me wanna, it actually, it's making me feel oh, sick. I stop.